In today's quick Ninja Trader tutorial video, I'm gonna share with you guys three ways to place limit orders for the Ninja Trader 8 platform. Now you might be saying, Mike, why do I need to place a limit order? I can just simply come over here, buy market, sell market, be in the market right here, right now. Well, what if for instance, we, ba we basically identified a zone down here and we kind of want to work that zone saying if price comes back down towards that area, we want to get involved in the trade. And what if you're busy, AKA you have a job or you have errands you have to run, but you've already identified this as a potential area where you want to get involved in the market. I'm going to show you guys three ways in which we can place these orders. Now for the first method, we need to come over here to what is called the control center. Then from there, we're gonna click on new, then we're gonna click on order ticket. Now that's gonna populate a window that looks like this. So now within this order ticket window, we can simply go ahead and place a limit order. Now for this example, right down here where it says limit price, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna put in 52.96. Now this is my least favorite way of entering orders. Now this is also gonna be very important. We do not, in this example, wanna hit sell. If we hit a sell limit order, it should go ahead and put us in the market instantaneously. And I'm gonna show you guys the two differences. If we go ahead and we hit buy, you can see the order is placed right down here. But in the event that we made a mistake and instead of hitting buy, we messed up after putting that 5296 in there and we hit sell, watch, we should be entered into the market instantly. And the reason for that is, remember when with the limit order, what it's saying is we're gonna we're guaranteed we're gonna get filled at that price or better. So if we were looking to sell the market at 5296, then we hit sell, means price is up higher. This is a better price than what we're trying to get in down here. So it would automatically execute your order. So just know that before placing that trade. So now if we come back over here and we re-enter the order the right way, meaning we wanna go ahead and we wanna play off this zone right here. I went ahead and hit buy. I'm gonna close out the order ticket. Now, let's go ahead and see if price gets down towards our level, will we actually get filled on this trade? And we're gonna see here in just a moment, price goes down there and yes, indeed, it did trigger us into a buy limit order, meaning we we're able to take advantage of that zone that we previously identified. All right, so now let's go ahead and take a look at method number two for placing a limit order. Once again, we need to start from the control panel, come right over here to the new tab. Then we wanna go ahead and select Super Dom Dynamic. Now, once you have selected that, it's gonna pull up a price ladder for you or a depth of market. And from right here, you wanna make sure you have the instrument selected. But now we can just simply scroll right down here. And let's say that same 5296 area, we wanted to place a limit order. We can just hover right over there where the price is, bam. And then you, there you go, you can see it right there on the chart. Our order would now be entered into the market. Now for this, I'm gonna simply go ahead and, and speed up the market a little bit. And you're gonna see once again, if price comes down to our limit order, we will once again be triggered into a trade. There you go, we are now triggered into the trade. And you might ask yourself, Mike, does this only work on, on buy limit orders? And the answer is no. I'm gonna close out that trade. Then let's say we wanted to place a limit order to sell. I could simply just hover right over here above the current price. Boom, there's a limit order and you're gonna see, I'll speed up the market. Boom, now we are triggered into a short trade for the market. Now, both methods can be used for both long and short. Method number three is actually my preferred method for entering limit orders into the market. Now, if you're not yet subscribed to the channel, hit the subscribe button down below and give the video a big thumbs up and make sure you have bell notifications turned on for all. Now, method number three, we do not need to use the control center. Instead, you need to make sure that chart trader is turned on. Now, chart trader you know is turned on when you have the action buttons over here on the right hand side. Now, when, when chart trader is turned off, you'll see it looks just like a basic chart. Now, what I'm gonna do is right over here on any chart, hover over this icon right here. Now, when you hover over it, it'll say chart trader. Click on that and then select chart trader. That go, goes ahead and opens up chart trader. Now, something I like to do is I always like to left click on the chart just to make sure that chart is actually active. And then what I do from that point on is I will simply hover my mouse down here. Let's say I want to order right here at the top of our zone. I can right click on that order, click buy limit, boom, the buy limit order will be placed right there. Now, let's say that you got in a hurry and you weren't right down there on your order and you right clicked up here, you hit buy limit and you say, uh oh, not in the right place. Well, now I can just simply grab that order and just move the, move it down, grab the tag, 
move it down. Chart Trader by far is my favorite method of entering these trades. And if we go ahead and we speed up the, the, the playhead real quick, you'll actually see that the market's gonna come right down towards our price. Then notice what happened on this event, all right? I actually had what is called the ATM strategy turned on. So when my order is hit, a stop loss order was placed, but we also had a take profit order that was also placed as well. So now with the ATM order placed, this acts as an OCO order. Now I'm gonna speed this up here in just a bit. And once what we'll see is, once the target was taken off, it went ahead and removed our stop loss order. Now, if you wanna learn more about ATM strategies, watch this video right here.